Hi all, Xamarin released support for PCL libraries last night. Um, when you combine that with MVVM Cross, it really is really exciting. And it's a lot easier to get started with MVVM Cross previous, uh, when using PCLs. Previously you had to jump, uh, jump through quite a few hoops to get going. So here we go, quick demo. Let's create a portable library. And let's call this PCL MVX dot core. And let's OK that. So here we have our portable library. If you drop down references, you'll notice these are in red. What you want to do is just double click that, double click the project file, go to general, and just check that first box and that'll sort that out. My class we don't need, so let's remove that. And let's add some references to our MBX libraries, which I've downloaded from GitHub. And here we go portable. Let's get cross core. Let's get binding. And let's get MVVM cross. That should be okay. Let's create a new folder called view models. Where we're gonna keep our view models. There's only gonna be one in this demo. And let's call this home view model. That's going to be an MVX view model. Okay, and that's going to have a just a basic property called first name. That's going to be a type string. And let's create a backing store for this. Whenever first name changes, we are going to do a raise property change. And then just use an expression to say that first name has changed. Right, so very basic view model. Let's create our app class. This is going to be an MBX application. Import. What we want to do here is just override initialize and register our app start, which is going to be our home view model. Okay, so that is our core library. Now we're going to add a touch project and that's going to be an iPhone an empty project. This is we're going to call PCL MVX dot touch. Okay, so there's our iPhone project, and let's go grab some MVVM cross libraries again. And this time it's going to be in touch, and we're going to want cross core dot touch and let's grab all the ones that I think we're going to need MVVM cross, MVVM cross touch and we need the binding assemblies binding that should be okay so now we can create our view folder which is going to contain the single view for our home view model. Let's call this home view. And this is going to be a MVX view controller. Okay. Let's override view load 
And just to demonstrate the binding, I'm going to create a label. Let's give it a rectangle. Import that. And let's give it a naught, naught, 100 width and a 50 height and we can add label to our view then let's just copy that and create something that we can actually edit so this is going to be a UI text view okay so we've got a label, we've got a text view now we can set up our binding. Create binding set, I think it is. And that's going to be our home view and our home view model. I might need to import here. Yep. So let's get a reference to that, to binding. And we can now bind our label to and use an expression. This is our view model. View model view model dot. Uh, we need to add a reference here. Okay, so this is going to add a reference to our core assembly and to our namespace all in one go and that's first name okay then we also want to bind our edit to let's just copy that it's exactly the same so they're both going to be bound to the same property on the view model. And then we can just go binding dot apply. Okay. Now what we're going to need is our, in our app delegate, we're going to have to just initialize MBX. So this is where we create our setup. And I am missing something here. I'm missing the setup. Let's create that quickly. So this is setup. And this is going to be an MVX touch setup. Let's do an import and implement abstract members. Create app. Here, all we want to do is return. A new app. That's the app class that we created in our PCL. There we go. And this constructor, as far as I can remember, needs a MBX application delegate and UI window. And that's going to Pass that into the base delegate window. Right. So let's go back to our app delegate and finish our setup. That's going to be this and window and setup dot initialize. Then all we need to do is resolve our app start. So hopefully this will get us to our container. But I think I'm missing a reference. Let's go back here. Release. I think it's just to the core 
cross call. That should give us our IFC container. Come on. There we go. And we want to resolve I MBX app start. that and then we can just go app start dot start now if I haven't missed anything this should should start let's see ah I can see something wrong already this is not an app delegate this is an MBX app delegate Try that again. Okay, still something wrong with our setup. MBX app delegates. Oops, sorry. There we go. And let me import that. Try again. Right, that's built. Simulator starting up. Waiting for debugger to connect. And hopefully, there we go. If we type, oh, I missed something. Typing in our edit box, but we're not getting the label. So let's go back here, binding. We've got a label, we've got an edit. Label, edit, first name, first name, that should work. What am I missing? Label to be dot first name, binding dot apply. Mm. Should work. Let's just see if there's any warnings here. Nope, that looks okay. Why is that not working? Oh, I know why. We've got this in the wrong position. Um, the edit is going to be below the label. Let's try that again. I think we were just yeah we were just covering the label so you couldn't see it. So now they're on top of one another, and if we type you can see the binding in action. So, a lot quicker to get started with MBVM Cross, really easy to get going. Thanks Xamarin for PCL support, this is going to make life much easier. I know for, uh, I'm definitely going to start changing my file linking project projects over to PCL. That's certainly a lot easier to maintain. And thanks for watching. Cheerio.